Hi, this is Tom B. from Bookmap's Discord Traders Lab live narration channel. This brief replay is regarding integrating Bookmap order flow tools inside a higher time frame. Now this is for educational purposes only and past performance is not indicative of future results. 2175 notice the alignment so I'm looking at this and I'm going okay in an intermediate time frame this is the high volume node this acts like a VPOC so it's drawn there's alignment with the midpoint are you guys tracking with me can you kinda of see this what I want to show you is you know I get a lot of questions from you guys who think you know you're day trading you're 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 spinning around and doing all this stuff and that's really active I understand because it's the same process it's a remember this is all fractal however I'm using the same tools but I can also use them in alignment to trade an intermediate time frame so I know if there's you know there's a potential since I have alignment with two things that traders reference midpoint and my high volume node based on profile this is the most uh, traded price and accepted price last time we were up here you guys are tracking see how we're integrating multiple time frames here just want to make sure that we're all in alignment anybody okay thank you so if you want to trade the intermittent time frame, and this is not a recommendation or anything, um, this is how you might integrate. If you want to get the bigger swings, and past performance is not indicative of future results, you'd be waiting for this and then using the more micro time frame to participate in it. So let's see if we can isolate this a little bit. So, what do we got here? Now, it's show, this is showing all this volume on the screen. Um, what I do is when we get to a location, I'm starting to look over here. Because this is showing me the volume in this area. And I'm looking for something to show me that in a micro consolidation, that that volume if we break below the volume or I see exhaustion which looks something like this you know in other words there's just one buyer up here now I see liquidity under here so it's not quite ripe I could be if they pull you know they open the door so I'm watching so here's let's just see what it looks like now we're in the micro time frame right okay where's my level here here you know this I have to think about yesterday's low there might be stuff so I'm watching it's a area so let's watch let's see what it does okay I'm just kinda of zooming in 88 stops thank you now we're in our zone in our area remember I know I don't know so I've gotta wait to see something and I'm sitting there with my trigger finger. I'm on the mouse and I'm like, you know, uh, you know, I'm I'm stalking. This is I'm behind the tree in the jungle, and here is potentially my opportunity. Here, here. Okay. Let me just pull this down a little bit so we can see the rest of it. Because this was really interesting. And um I missed it. Because I was getting ready for our webinar, but this is a trade for me. So so here's what we see. Let's kind of look at some pieces. I'm seeing the buyers kind of, you know, get weaker. I see the liquidity pulling. So let's watch. Now we're, we're putting the, and this is where book map is coming in. The rest of this is higher time frame stuff, right? And for me, I have something called setups, which means I have to wait for locations to participate. So that's what I do because, you know, what do I know? You know, better opportunities. You know, I want the bigger swing if it shows up. If it doesn't, I can operate in the lower time frames. It doesn't matter to me. So here's what's happening. 
they're pulling. That's good for the short. Let's watch what happens to the book here. So now we're using book map to read the order flow. What's the potential, you know, the intent? I'm seeing that there's not much going on over here with the buyers. See this is this this is Louis with the one lot. Oh, six. Okay, Louis. So Louis with six. So now we want to see what is going to happen up in here. Now, I'm only thinking a short. Remember, doesn't matter to me because this is my plan. Trend is down. I'm not a buyer. I'm going to be a seller. Past performance, not indicative of future results. Now, I'm watching this right here because this is showing me where the volume is happening in this little structure. This is 1018. 10, this is 40 seconds. Okay, so we're now in the scal scalpeteria with the scalpel. What do I see? I see, I see buyers, buyers, I got the book, press, no buyers. They're not lifting. I'm seeing more sellers. Buyer, no buyers. So this, and we're under here, right? So this is becomes for me an area that's potentially an over under. In other words, my over under, if we come back above this volume, because this is my protection. Now this is like uh, parchment paper, you know, it's not strong, but I'm now operating in the micro time frame for potential triggering. And yes, I, you know, like everybody else, I could take a stop and, you know, but I have this, I have this, I have this, and I have retail trader behavior. And that is the sell to mid. In this context, it's okay for me. So let's see what it does. So this is my short, by the way, here. Okay, you guys with me? So now what's my, my target? This is the VWAP. Now I'm going to target the VWAP for my first scale. Now that's just part of my plan and it's because other retail traders are going to target the VWAP so I want to get out ahead of the VWAP okay and so it's a uh, 1675 you know I'm looking maybe for 17 quarter which means I don't get filled isn't that interesting but that's the way it works and, and I have to say well this is the structure I'm leaning on uh, trailing stops now let's remember retail trader behavior now we want to shift our brain a little bit where are the stops going to be? Here, 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 right? Everybody follow the thinking. Think like a retail trader. Don't act like one. When you think, when you feel, now it's emotional because you're wired to be risk adverse and you don't want to lose your, quote, profit, your tendency and most retail traders' tendency is this. And they might be right, but let's see what happens. Now remember, the trade fails up above here. We don't know, right? Okay. They're gone. Okay. Watch the behavior. Now we're still looking for this thing. And now when I see this, I go, well, we got them. And I think that's pretty reasonable to anticipate, right? stop pick retail trader behavior they're gone now watch what ha now let's just spread this out a little bit watch the behavior I'm over here that's you know I'm looking for that's my first target see I got it now this is what in my opinion I strongly recommend as soon as your mind thinks risk aversion and I'm just saying you have a plan I'm, this is not a uh, a trade plan and it's not a recommendation how you de design or develop your process but this to me is a is like giving it away because that's what retail traders do so for me unless it's broke I leave it and I'm just telling you remember this is how I do it and you could do it any way you want. So that's what's important. And past performance, not indicative of future results, right? This is for educational purposes only. But when you see these, so what you do is you look to the left. 
this is the swing high, and you know there's going to be stops above that, so we don't want to forget that. We have the pop, the break. Now, here's how about you if you wanted to enter here? Let me give you a little hint. Now, this is, again, getting into more micro day trading. It's kind of what some traders do. Let's look in this structure. We took the stops. If there's no buying above here, like, you know, then it was just a stop pick. If you don't know what that is, write it on your paper. If you, you know, you're taking notes, stop pick is basically the momentum. So what happens is the market goes down. If it doesn't take this swing out and you see the exhaustion down here, then all the guys who are you know, micromanaging, and I'm not saying you shouldn't if that's your trade plan, that momentum is going to take them up to where the fuel is, which is right above this, right? So you guys track it. Just say yes or no. If this doesn't make sense, ask a question. By the way, it does, okay, because if it doesn't, this is when you ask the question before I move on. So I just want to make sure this is all logical and you can see potentially the benefit of not uh, acting like a retail trader, but definitely thinking and anticipating their behavior. Yes, good morning. And good morning, everyone, and thank you for being here, too. All right, so what's the target here? And what's the next target? VPOC, okay? So, and of course, you know how I play it. I don't want to be the last guy out. I always leave some for the sweeper. So it's, you know, about three ticks usually. So I'd be flat. So this trade, not getting taken out on the stop pick, was from roughly 21, call it, you know, 21 to 15, call it, with a scale here. So uh, 21 to 18, call it, to here, done. You guys tracking with me. And the reason why midpoint alignment with an intermediate time frame, exhaustion, we saw Louie with the six lot, the book flipped over. Can you see what happened with the book? This is important too. These guys, you know, okay. And I'm going, I don't know. I stay in the I know, I don't know until I think I know. And even then I don't know. Here, you see this? Bing, 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 bang. I this is indication this is pressure these guys may have no intention of trading they never did trade but when they came in you see the reaction are you guys tracking with me this is how bookmap can give you tremendous insight because it's the confluence you know I don't this to me I mean I can trade this and I could I'm just saying as I have the, let's just say the capacity to operate you know in between in microstructure but I think for most of us who want to learn we need to think a little higher time frame and it's really it, and that higher time frame can be intermediate where you're waiting for this and then you're just putting this thing on and you know you're trading to the other side you can you know that's the potential um, and for this trade depending on um, well, for me, the, the higher probability, and you guys need to vet your own ideas, was back the check balance. It's like, this is a price check in the intermediate time frame. The return to VPOC is a price check in the developing daily time frame. This is an example of the narration that takes place in our Discord Traders Lab uh, using Bookmap and fractal multiple time frame integration. It, I invite all of you uh, to visit us at the Bookmap Discord Traders Lab for Tom B. and uh, take a listen to our live real-time narration. Thanks for visiting. Hope to see you there soon.